Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the number one mistake that I see many Etsy sellers make when they open their Etsy store. Now, if you wanna learn what this number one mistake is, make sure that you watch all the way to the end of this video. Now, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel and you want to learn how to grow an impactful Etsy business, don't forget to subscribe today. I do upload weekly videos to help you grow an impactful online business. So don't forget to subscribe and show me some love by liking this video. So let's go ahead and talk about this one mistake. So I wanted to talk about branding today. And branding is one of the most important aspects of any business. It doesn't matter whether you have a large business or starting up a small business and is also overlooked by many Etsy sellers. And there's a lot to branding that goes into branding, but the one thing that I'm gonna be talking about today is making sure that your name, your shop name, is also available across different social media platforms for branding purposes. So before you open your Etsy store, I highly recommend using this tool is called namechecker.com. I will leave the link on the comment section below. And this is a free tool, which is really, really nice. And you're able to go in here and you're able to check if your Etsy store name is also available in other platforms. Um, if it's available on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on YouTube, etc. And why do you wanna know that? The reason why is for branding purposes. The one thing that we all make a mistake on, I have done the same. When you start a business, you're just starting the business. So you just open the store, you're excited about building the store, you build it up. And then once you're ready to open Instagram, you're ready to go ahead and open a Facebook page, you find out that your store name is already taken on Instagram or someone else is using the same name on Facebook. So that becomes an issue later on for branding purposes. You wanna make sure that your store name is the same as your social media platforms. So I'll give you an idea. Bigger companies like Walmart or Target, when you look at their Facebook page or somebody wants to Google them on, on Facebook or search on them on Instagram, they're gonna type in Target and their handle name is there, it's Target. It's not, and their Facebook page is gonna say Target on their Instagram, is gonna say Target on Twitter, is gonna say Target. They're not gonna have different handle names like I do, unfortunately. They're not gonna have like on Target, on Facebook is Target 101. And then on Instagram is Target 2019. And then on another platform is Target 2016. They're not gonna have that. It's gonna be the same name across all platforms. And that's really important for branding purposes in the future. And this is something that's often overlooked because many Etsy sellers are first opening their store. They're pretty new to the idea of having a small business. Um, they, don't, they don't think that big. They don't think past, um, I'm gonna scale my business to the next level. And they don't, they don't think about branding purposes until a little bit later when it's already a little bit too late to change the name or then you have to change your name, which is another hassle. So doing it from the beginning, right before you open your store, is the best way to make sure that the name that you're choosing is, um, you'll have it across all different platforms and it's available. And all you have to do pretty much, you'll go in here, let's say your name, you wanna name your store Mary Printables. And if you do a search, it's gonna tell you if it's available. So Mary Printables is available as a blog. So if you wanted to buy maryprintables.com, it is available. It's available on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, Pinterest. So the main platforms that I will recommend you use is available on Reddit. And then if you go here, load more, it's available on Etsy as well. So as you can see, that name is available in majority of the platforms that you will use. Now, Name Checker doesn't let you see if it's available on Instagram. So all you will have to do is if you go to Instagram, you will type in the name up here. So I already had done a research earlier. And as you can see, there's no store called Mary Printables. Nothing is coming out. There's a location, but it's not a actual name 
or a handle name in, in Instagram. So you could actually open an Instagram account with Mary Principles because it is available. And that's all you will have to do. What I recommend is when you open your Etsy store, you will open the store and then you will go to Instagram, open an account with Instagram. You will go to Facebook, open the account. You will go to YouTube, whatever other platforms you plan to use. I highly recommend opening all the major platforms, doing a Pinterest account, doing a Twitter, doing an Instagram, doing a Facebook, and doing a blog. I recommend doing all of them. Even if you're not going to post right now, even if you don't have any products right now, I recommend securing the name, Mary Printables. And then later on, once you're established, you build up your store, you have listings, you have materials, you have content, then you could promote across all social media platforms. But this is great for anyone out there starting their first business, especially you have to think about it in the sense of eventually you want to scale your business to the next level. Eventually you want to be across all social media platforms. So using name checker is the best way to do it. This tool is free. You don't have to pay anything for it. And it's just a simple way to check for branding purposes if your name is available across all social media platforms. So let me know in the comment section below if you have used this before, if it's your first time hearing about it. And don't forget guys to share this video if you find it valuable. And thank you guys for watching.